Devon Avenue. This historical street in Chicago is known for its Desi Corridor. South Asian shops, restaurants, and grocery stores abound along this strip. There's no place like it. Islam basically uh, a religion uh, there are like so many religions in this world but Islam is uh, very close to Christianity and Judaism and Islam is basically says there is only one God no son, sons of God or nothing he is the only creator he created everything so basically we respect like Jesus and we Say Jesus is a prophet of God, is not son of God. So this is an aside. So we say Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is the last prophet, last messenger, and there will be no any messenger. And Holy Quran is the last book. So this we Islam it says oneness of God. Yeah, he is the only creator. There is no any companion with him. He is the only one. Okay, uh, let me tell you this. Uh, people, they don't know, of course, but the thing is, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he, he started to tell people about Islam, so there is only one division. There is no divisions. One division, I mean, he started saying, go to this path, do this, 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 in the right way, what God sent uh, messages through angels. And the book, the same thing. But after Prophet Sallallahu passed away, so it became different divisions. So uh, Shia is basically, it came after Prophet Sallallahu passed away. So there shouldn't be any division like this. And Prophet Sallallahu person asked Prophet Sallallahu in future, what, where will be the Muslim people? What is going to be in future when the time comes close to end, time of end? So Prophet Sallallahu said, there will be, uh, Ju Judaism, they have 72 divisions in their tribes, you know. Mm -hmm. So, Prophet said, in Muslim, there's going to be 73 divisions. All of them, they try to do their best, to show their best themselves. Mm -hmm. But one of them is going to be right, 72 is going to be wrong. He said very clearly, yeah. Basically, I follow, I'm Sunni. And Sunni publisher in the world, if you go in the Muslims, so you see, about Shias, maybe about 5%, 4%, that's it. And, and the rest of them, so many different divisions, mm -hmm. so many small divisions, you know. Basically, the, th the thing is people, they, they make a division, they're, they're thinking, if we go with this way, we start making money with the people. So this is what it is, but all wrong, right. yeah, all wrong. Three different communities, they are, most of them they are living on Devon Street. So this side, if you go uh, for the west, uh, Jews people, they live right. here, Jews. And then it starts Muslims. But majority Muslims here. Some of them Hindus, but most of them Muslims. Even though they are from India, but Muslims. Most of them here are Muslims. So you find some books, if you go further down, so you find some stores, uh, Hindu stores. But mostly, majority Muslims around here, and we have Jews around here, but all together we are living here very peacefully, we have no problems, just friendly. We have no problems at all, no issues, no nothing. Only the issues comes from those politicians, that's it. But, yeah. yeah, so it, it, it's been good, yeah. An angel told him, read. He was scared, you know, read. You see, he was in a cave. Yeah. He, you see, prophets, they know. Yeah. They know something is going to happen with us. Allah wants something to do with yeah. us, but they don't know yeah. what's going to happen. Right. But he start at night time. He just go to the cave and sitting over there. So that one, one day, one night, angel came and asked him, read. And he said, I can't read. He just shake prophet, mm. read. Yeah. He said, no, three times. Then he start said, read by the name of God. Huh. Then he start reading, wow. you know. So the first word is read 
Yeah. So always education, educate, read, so you yeah. find out everything. Yeah. Very important, you know. Yeah. Prophet Abraham and his son Ishmael, they will discover. Since that, this Kaaba is as is like this. They will discover, yeah. Both of them prophets. Prophet Abraham, he was prophet, and his son, Prophet Ishmael, he was also a prophet. So they will discover. So can you tell me a little bit about the Hajj and what you do? Well, actually, I've never been there, but yeah, this is a, a huge gathering. I mean, they go over there, people, so this is about like, you have to complete uh, time for with everything it takes maybe uh, six seven eight days something like that so you complete everything so this is like once in a year you know once in your lifetime you you have to go here but if you have money if you if you have you have no any um, debts or anything on you you are clear your children they are got married with education everything so you have nothing to, uh, to give money somebody. So then you go over there for this Hajj. But if you have some debts on, on you, and your children, they are young, so then you don't have to go. Till you, you wait. If, if you be with everything clear, so then you can go over there. So the first question is, what does being Islam mean to you? So my answer is everything. All right. And second one is, what's it like being a Muslim in Chicago? How do you practice your faith? So being a Muslim, it's very good. And then the practice, we read Quran because it has everything. It has all the answers. And then the third one is, what are the four major divisions within Islam? So first one, read Quran. Because Quran is our holy book and it has all the answers. Second, give charity, donations, and then help each other. A smile is a charity. And then that's it. That's all I need. What part of your faith connects with you the most? So the first thing is uh, like namaz. It's called uh, prayer. We pray five times a day. And then Rosa, we call the fasting. Fasting. Fasting is very good for your health too. And then um, it helps your digestive system and everything. And then Zakat. Zakat means charity, like for poor people to give donations every year. Hajj. Hajj means like pilgrimage in Saudi Arabia. We go there. Uh, that's a true uh, story. I saw the a video that one guy with a beard and everything in London, he was walking and then there was uh, um, some uh, British people, they were walking behind him. So after five minutes, they were like looking at him suspiciously, you know, because of course for them it's terrorist. But he was walking so calmly with the handbag and everything. And then uh, people, they were looking at him. What happened that cops came and they were running. They were running, running, running. So the people, they got suspicious, you know, why they're running, of course, to capture this Muslim person, you know. But guess what happened? They just like crossed the Muslim guy, with the beard and everything, and then he, they captured some British guy because he was a robber. And they found a bag with the heroin, cocaine, and then uh, robbery. He robbed someone, you know. Oh my gosh. So the family got suspicious. Oh wow, we, were, we thought that, you know, they're gonna capture him. But guess what happened, you know? They captured the other person, the British guy. And then after uh, five minutes, what she saw is that he ran, I mean, uh, the guy was walking towards his family, uh, take uh, uh, like tiny bicycle out from the bag and then give it to his, uh, his daughter. And then uh, he get his son towards Aww. his shoulders and everything. Yeah. So you know what I mean, right? Yeah, so the family, was, the, the British people were like, oh wow, we thought he was a terrorist, but now guess what? You know, he was walking towards his family, you know? So that's misunderstanding, misconfusions, you know? It's pretty much filled with Muslims, Christians, Hindus, and I think there's Jewish people here too. But yeah, it's pretty, um, 
This is where everyone goes to eat and stuff, so it's pretty, it's pretty fun. What do you think? You are very peaceful. If you need help, I'm available. I swear to God, you know, at the monastery especially, more than 270 people, 275 people, go anywhere and ask them who's Muni Mirza. They're gonna tell you. Because why? Because I help people to get a job. I'm not getting any commission or anything, it's just like I'm helping them. It's a, it's a charity. It's my, that's it. Anything else? Ask me. गर्दिश में हूँ आसमान का तारा हूँ आवारा हूँ